Hello, everyone. Well, yeah, that's, that's a bit overwhelming. My name is Yair Klepper. I am the founder and CEO of uh, Lava, Lava Network. And today I'm very excited to announce how we bring unstoppable access to Avalanche together by decentralizing the most crucial la layer in RPC. Let's jump right in. So today, I want to talk to you about you know, the most core basic infrastructure and core element of blockchain. Blockchain are assembled by different nodes, and nodes are actually maintaining the state of the blockchain. And when we want to get access to the blockchain data, um, we need to run our own node. That's what most, one of the most important principles of blockchain. And anyone can run a node, right? It's permissionless. But one of the core elements there, it means that you don't trust anyone. You verify. So running a node, you do it by yourself. But today, one, one of the most uh, very important elements for how do you maintain the blockchain data, it's uh, a protocol that's called RPC. Remote Procedure Call. It's a communication protocol that everyone uses today in order to get access to the blockchain data. If you want to get the balance, the account balance, the gas prices, everything regarding the data is actually based on this uh, communication protocol. And if you want to run the data there, it means that you need to run a node. It's basically an API call for a node that exposes these APIs in order to get this information. So the key takeaway here, if you want to read data from the blockchain, you need RPC. If you want to write transactions back to the blockchain, you need RPC. But today, this most cru crucial layer is fragmented. And I want to ask you something here. Who today runs his own node? OK, I see a few hands in the, in the crowd. But as Moxie said uh, almost one and a half years ago, people don't want to run their own servers. People don't want to maintain running nodes. And this is why uh, the chains themselves providing several options to get to this data. Public RPC is the core principle of what every ecosystem is subsidizing, is providing its dApps in order to uh, get access to blockchain. You see all the top providers, centralized providers today, the amazing company Alchemy, Infura, Quicknode, Blockdemon, they all reduce the barrier to entry for this uh, industry. And they were t saying something very, very simple. Don't run your own node. We can do it for you. But the problem with that is that it's very fragmented, and if you want and if you believe in the multi-chain, you actually need to start benchmarking every time that you're starting a new chain. So this concept of trusting someone creates a single point of failure. Single point of failure means that once one of the players are down, one of the centralized providers is down, basically you don't have access to the blockchain. And this is when uh, dApps are starting to maintain multiple centralized providers at the same time, to have redundancy, to have recovery, disaster recovery, to have a load balancer. And we see that um, the alternative today are not strong enough. During this time, when you trust a centralized provider, they're actually collecting the data. And it's already announced a few days ago, a few months ago, that, and it's well known that this data is being used for profiling the action of the user, for creating uh, censorship. We all heard about Tornado Cash uh, also last year. And this is actually kind of an attempt, in our perspective, to patch a Web 2 solution to Web 3. The last thing that was really astonishing for us as we, we, we arrive to the um, Web3, is the privacy. Because there is no privacy when you are trusting a middleman. 
there is no any unique feature that actually preventing those centralized provider from bringing that and monitoring every transaction. And this is how that one of the very, very important fundamentals in Web3 doesn't exist. And this is what we're trying to bring to you. In Lava, we create a network of different centralized providers, but while rewarding them according to their service. The better the service, the better reward they're getting. It's a first time, first attempt that has been done to create an access to a fleet of nodes directly from the browser, directly by implementing our uh, SDK. And guys, I'm so excited, and please welcome us by applaud. Today, we start supporting Avalanche. <laughs> it's, you know, it's very exciting for me, because here I've been like one year ago, exactly in my first ever crypto conferences last year in Avalanche. And we really felt amazing to be embraced and get the vote of confidence by the ecosystem. So I invite you, Dapps, to start using Lava. And Let's see how we can actually improve the, um, the infrastructure, the getting access to, to blockchain and to Avalanche in general. So today we announced support in the chains in X and P and C. And slowly but truly, we're going to invite node providers across the chain to join Lava and make, us, make, make the Avalanche much more resilient and much more reliable. You don't need to trust only one or two or three providers. And at the same time, you don't need to benchmark who is the best one, who is bringing you uh, the best performance. You have a one-stop shop accessing to all, um, to all the Avalanche ecosystem. And I want to, we already start conversation with uh, the best project on Avalanche. And I'm also excited to share a quote uh, by Stephen Gates at Gogopool that said, Having a solid decentralized RPC partner is important for the widespread adoption of subnets. Not only does it allow subnets to launch faster, but also gives their user a privacy that centralized provider cannot guarantee. And in order to show you how Lava is supporting today Avalanche, we're focusing on three main uh, elements. So the first is pairing. Privately pairing every DAP, every developer that starts using uh, Avalanche to a fleet of nodes at once. So you don't need to run after a few, a few nodes. At the same time, the relays have been sent quickly by every, uh, by every transaction once the session is open. So the, and the end result is that once this transaction, once this session is over, the, uh, the providers are rewarded for the service. And we're constantly scoring uh, and looking at the performance, the freshness of the data, and everything regarding this transaction. So if I want to break it a bit more uh, to a, a detailed view, um, once, once this uh, connection is being made and ADAPT needs data or we need to read, send data for, from uh, the blockchain, uh, he's arriving at Lava. We can either use the gateway or the SDK. And he received a list of providers according to the geolocation, according to how we maintain the best performance. Once, once this connection has been made, the transaction and the pairing is being done. So after the on-chain pairing, we're sending every DAP to speak off-chain, peer-to-peer, directly, with the providers. It allows every DAP to change um, providers over time. So make sure that the privacy is high. Make sure that no one can collect profile the activity that the DAP is being set. And that's a very, very important principle that we have in Lava. After that, the session starts, and you see that Relays has been, uh, has been uh, um, starting to flow uh, back and forth from the provider. So basically, because it's a peer-to-peer -peer communication protocol, there is no latency. I know that there is a lot of misperception about decentralization and the performance of that. 
But this is how we try to maintain the super high performance that depending only on the provider. Remember, we have the geolocation, we have a peer-to-peer -peer communication, and this allows us to imitate the same, uh, uh, the same activity and behavior you had until today, but with a real privacy and with a real reliability. So if there is an important transaction, we also allow the, um, the DAP to signal that they want to query and sample a few different providers. So you really have first-time data accuracy. If we find that you know, one of the uh, relays, one of the queries have the information uh, being not up to date, maybe even manipulated, we create a dispute and then goes up to our validator for a consensus. We're creating a data consensus automatically, everything behind the scenes, and we might penalize the provider that was not up to date or even punish them by jailing or even slashing. So in general, this is how we maintain a, a high uh, quality of service around every, every chain. And this is how we create actually a framework of incentivizing the nodes to be better, better in the performance, better with the reliability, and better with the accuracy. Today, I also have an, a, another announcement. And this is the fact that we're trying to do something that never has been done before while creating a decentralized public RPC. For those of you who don't know, public RPC are basically the why allowing small groups of developers that just join Avalanche to actually start develop by Avalanche subsidizing its own public RPC. The problem is that instead of Avalanche developing that subnet and developing more the consensus algorithm and everything, they're doing something that it's not their core business, which is subsidizing, developing, and sourcing um, workload on the public RPC. So we're trying, in, uh, we're trying in Lava to bring a new approach. Instead of having trust to subsidize a certain centralized provider, we help the community to bring, uh, uh, to come and start building their private node. Instead of relying on a few different centralized providers, you get a fleet of nodes and even nodes from the community that until now were running the node but never got rewards on that. They can join Lava in less than 30 minutes and start receiving rewards for successful pairing. And this is the concept that we want to share with you today. Public RPC is something that today is not being subsidized right by the ecosystem. And that's why we create a Lava rewards pool. The Lava DAO is going to create an on-chain subscription for every DAP to join not only the Avalanche, but if any DAP is coming from a different ecosystem, you are able, by one subscription to Lava, to get access also to Avalanche. And this is how we eliminate the redundancy problem and create a real accuracy. So I want to I wanna use this stage today to welcome you, DAPs, new developers that just heard about Lava Launch first day, or even a very experienced team. You don't need to work on the RPC. You don't need to waste um, resources and um, everything regarding the cost by implementing several, uh, several providers. We launched our testnet three months ago, and since then, we see that DAP's testimonial give us that uh, they're saving up to 50% of the infrastructure cost because they use Lava. So I'm very excited here to share the story about Lava, and please reach out and talk to us on the Discord, join us on the uh, Lava Twitter, and thank you all for being here.